Let us look at a case study for transportation model. In some countries, the Navy uses transportation model in their induction process. Generally, Navy has some induction centers where the young recruits first report and then they are moved to naval bases where they are finally trained. So the process is that the young recruits first report to the induction center which is closest to their house. So let's say that there are 40 induction centers for a country and five naval bases. So let me draw some induction centers. So let's say these are some induction centers. across the country. So let's say there are 40 induction centers and there are five naval bases. So let's say this is first, second, third, fourth and fifth. So, five naval bases. Now, let's say in the first induction center, there are 10 young recruits who have reported. There are 15 who have reported to the second one, 20 who have reported to the third one, and so on. Now, this number of people reporting to each induction center can vary from year to year, depending on how many people in that region decide to enroll for the Navy. Now also each of these naval bases will have a certain capacity to train these young recruits. Let's say this one has a capacity to take 100 recruits. This one has a capacity to take 150 and so on. So as you can see the preference would be to move these young recruits from these induction centers to the closest naval base. However, due to the number of recruits reporting at the induction centers and the capacity available at the naval bases, it may not be possible for all of them to be accommodated in the closest naval base. So the transportation model is used to move these recruits from these induction centers to the naval bases to ensure that they are closest to their native place. Now definitely this is too complex to be solved using pen and paper and definitely these naval organizations must be using some software to figure this out. However, let me try to draw a sample transportation table for this scenario. So in the transportation table, let's first draw the row and columns. On the left hand side, we'll place the source of supply, which is the induction centers. So here we'll have the induction center one, two, three, and so on up to 40. On the extreme right, we'll place the number of recruits at each of these induction centers. So let's say 10, 20, 30, and so on. On the top, we'll place the naval bases. So we'll have five naval bases, A, B, C, D, and E. At the bottom, we'll have the capacity at these naval bases or the demand at the destination. So I'll put the capacity as the demand. So this will be like 100, 150, 160, 200, 210. And in the middle, we'll have the cost of 
moving one recruit from each of these induction centers to each of the naval bases. So this can be 5, 6, 10, 15, 10, 9 and so on. So at the end, once we solve this, we'll have how many recruits from each induction center should be moved to each of these naval bases. So this is one of the ways in applying transportation model in solving our problems.